YouTube land, it's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania, and Toy Collector, it's time for another Eddie Hill review, it's review time, people, and today we'll be reviewing my first ever figure for my collection, it's my first Transformers GoBot, and this is one I did not have one of these in my collection, but I did watch the series a long time ago. I don't know his name, but if you do, then please do me the favor and leave me a comment on this guy. Because I don't know his name. I might have to look up the black and red Transformers GoBot car character. But other than that, he's a Transformers GoBot. It's almost been a minute, so I had to straighten out his vehicle mode. So you can see the paint and sculpting on his vehicle mode is... How shall I put this? Fantastic looking. I love this figure. It looks amazing. And now it's been a minute. We're going to see how well it rolls. It rolls very well for being a simple Transformers toy. But now we're going to get down to some other GoBots comparisons. This is not a GoBot, but it is a Transformer toy. But it looks like a GoBot in the way it's designed. I love that. And here's my only other GoBots figure. Original, anyway. Here is my Renegade GoBots tank. And yeah, he looks good next to Tank. And now that we're done with those comparisons, we don't have a lot. Let's get down to transforming him, which is very simple. Flip down his hood, like so. Pull out his legs, like so, and the arms pop out. Split his legs, and then you're going to rotate these legs, and his head will do an automort gimmick. And boom, there you have our Transformers GoBot in his robot mode. And he's a beefcake of a GoBot articulation. He doesn't have much. I suppose his legs can do that much. His arms can do this much. Other than that, not a lot of articulation for these figures. Because they were designed for kids to be messed around with and not be accurate to the show. But yeah, these are fun little figures, and I'm so glad I have one in my collection to review. But before we get down to comparison, as you know, GoBots was not around, around the original 1980s GoBots. I was around the Transformers GoBots indefinitely. But I did get the GoBots on DVD, and that's what sold GoBots for me. But now we're going to get down to comparisons. Here we got my Legacy Transformers GoBots Crasher next to this guy. Of course, my 1980s GoBot. Here we got Tank the Renegade. That other figure was a Renegade too. And this little transforming toy, which is very easy to transform which I got the transformation memorized, because these are simple figures. Yeah. And this is like GoBots kind of style, so... Yeah, I got four GoBots in my Transformers collection as of 2022. I like GoBot and an official GoBot. So, yeah. Three official GoBot designs and one not official with Transformers. Are these worth the money if you can find them? Yes. If I collect any more GoBots, I'm definitely going to be starting a collection for GoBots in my collection. And these are worth the money, given I paid good prices for this stuff. And if you're a GoBots fan like I got into it, then please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.